Hello, this is Keith All, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a circle curve drop shadow effect. So we're going to do this using a different method, other than um, uh, other than uh, selecting a layer, double clicking on it, and selecting drop shadow here. So we're going to do it a little bit differently, and I'm going to uh, create multiple videos after this to create different types of drop shadows using different ways than the default uh, way that I just showed you. So today we're going to uh, use the same background, same image, and we're going to create like a, a little drop shadow that's on the left and right hand side of this image. So I already have another tab open with the same color background and image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape. And I'm going to uh, uh, select the ellipse tool. Make sure up here you have shape selected. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool. And now I'm just going to draw a tall, thin oval, basically. like that. I'm going to press enter and now I'm going to use the move tool or the selection uh, tool and I'm going to move this down here basically like that. And Now I'm going to fill that shape with the foreground color using the alt delete key uh, on the PC now I want to duplicate this layer and drag it over here. An easy shortcut way to do it is hold down the Alt key and click and drag. And what it does, it duplicates the layer for you. Let go. Okay. Now I want to merge the two layers together and then rasterize it. So I already have the top layer selected. Hold down the Shift key. Click it to grab the layer below it. Now press Control E to merge the layer. Now I want to right click on the layer and rasterize the layer. Now I also want to drag the shadow layer below the image. So there we have that. Now all we have to do is create a blur effect. So we go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and now we have this drop shadow effect using a Gaussian blur. You can adjust it however that you want. Let's go up here. You can determine the effect that you want. Click OK, and there you have it. That's another way that you can create a drop shadow effect in Photoshop. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to create multiple videos after this to create different types of drop shadows behind your text, behind your uh, images, and so forth. Again, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell notification so you always get updated when I have a new video ready. And also, please like, share, and comment on this video. Thanks again for stopping by. You have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.